I need your help. Austin, I'm an unemployed athlete working as a nanny. My IRS file is taller than you. <laughs> Are you sure you came to the right guy? The school spelling bee's coming up, and I'm worried about Clayton Evans. He beat me on the science test and the math quiz. Do you want me to take him out? <laughs> this is serious. Give me a word. Persistent. P-E-R-S-I-S-T-E-N-T. -E -E Relentless. R-E-L-E-N-T-L-E-S-S. -E -E -S. Right again. Austin, man, I walk in your shadow. You're the James Brown of spelling. <laughs> if I had a cape your size, I'd throw it over you and walk you out the room. Hey! Good morning. Good morning, Tiffany. Tiffany. J-E-R-K. <laughs> Well, just for that, I'm telling everyone you wear Lion King underpants. What's wrong with that? He wears them backwards so that Mufasa's in the front. What's wrong with that? <laughs> I ran my pantyhose. I was the last one in the bathroom, so I had to take a cold shower. It's one less thing you have to do later. <laughs> Mom, do you have any old clothes? Yeah, I'm wearing them. <laughs> well, I figured if I kept these another 10 years, they'd come back in style. If not, just hang in there. Halloween's just around the corner. <laughs> and what are you gonna do? Take off your hat and go as a milk dud? <laughs> Join the charity clothes drive at school. You're doing something for charity? Get out of here, Rewa. Well, charity work's important. As members of the human race, we have a responsibility to look out for each other. Uh, plus, Jeff, the guy that's heading the committee, is so fine. <laughs> what happened to Kevin? Kevin? <laughs> oh, well, first he got this haircut, and then I noticed that his head was shaped all funny. <laughs> Tiffany, I don't think that's a good reason to drop him. Well, then he quit his job at the Gap and lost his discount. <laughs> Send his lumpy head packing. Come on, kids, time for school. Have a good day, baby. Mm. Marion, do you have any old clothes I could have? Well, as you know, I don't believe one could truly ever own anything. Material goods are merely the ties that bind us to this earthly plane. Oh, well, great. Then I can have that blue sports coat you wore the other night. What are you, nuts? It's Armani. You seen the way that jacket lays on me? And Jackie... This is Heather. You're doing a wonderful job. Give yourself a raise, take a long lunch, and get a full body massage and charge it to the firm the way I do. Oh, and Jackie, I'm having my attitude adjusted. Would you pick it up for me? Excuse me. Uh, I have a two o'clock appointment with a Ms. Comstock. Oh, I'm so sorry. She hasn't returned from lunch yet. Won't you come in? Uh, haven't I seen you on TV? Uh, yes, you have. I'm the station manager at Channel 3. I do the editorials. <laughs> well, won't you have a seat? Yes, sit sure. right down. Well, thank you, you know who else I really like at your station? I like that sportscaster, Chip Dawson. Uh, this is Chip Dawson saying, the bases are loaded and so is my ex-wife. <laughs> I gave him that. Get out of here. Yeah, it's a gift. <laughs> he doesn't know jack about sports. That's why I'm replacing him with a real athlete. Oh, really? Who? Well, I haven't found him yet. But someone who knows sports and who's charming. Hmm, that's a hard one. Yeah, someone who's strapped for cash. Do you know Marion Hill? <laughs> He was only the second best rookie of the year. You mean to tell me you know him? Do I know him? Why, well, he lives right in my neighborhood, and he'd be perfect for this. You know what I'm thinking? He'd be perfect for this. I could run it by him and get back to you. I have an idea. Listen, run it by him and get back to me. <laughs> I'll set up an audition for tomorrow, and uh, have your people call my people. My people? I said my people free. 
Jackie. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, Heather, Mr. Seeger is going to let Marion audition to be the new sportscaster on Channel 3. It's my idea. <laughs> Great. Jackie, can I see you in your office for a second? The little one out here with no diplomas on the wall. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? I think I'm getting us 10% of whatever he pays Marion. Oh, okay, I like that answer. <laughs> you just leave the rest of the negotiations to me. But I took a class in negotiations in law school. I was so good at it that I negotiated a B plus into an A minus. In law school, I did that all the time. Yes, but I did it during class. <laughs> Yes, and look where it's gotten you. Watch and learn. Well, Mr. Seeger, if you like Marion's audition, I'm sure we could work something out that will please all parties. You represent Marion? Uh, actually, I do. Uh, Heather is now one of my people. <laughs> yes, and people who need people might not need them much longer. And you really think Marion would want this job? Are you kidding? He'd be a fool not to be interested. I'm not interested. You're a fool. <laughs> Why would you want to do this? Look, I'm a level with you. I'm afraid if I do this, it'll be the first step to admitting I'm never going to play pro ball again. Okay, okay. Then try to look at it this way. With my 10% of what they'll pay you, mm -hmm. the kids and I can move out. How about you take 5% and just you move out? <laughs> Wait a minute. Why am I giving you 10% anyway? You're not. I have to share it with Heather. I guess it's a good thing for you two ladies there's enough of me to go around. <laughs> Whoa. Deja vu, Cincinnati. Could you keep your disgusting past out of this? Now, won't you at least go for the audition? You were serious about the moving out part, oh, right? Oh, absolutely. Do you think I enjoy walking in on you bare-chested in my kitchen? I know you do. <laughs> I see your reflection in the toaster. <laughs> to go to the audition or not okay i'll go but it's only because my inner voice is telling me to expand my horizons seek new challenges open new doors plus i have 16 dollars in my savings account and the atm only gives out 20s <laughs> rehearsal started five minutes ago jackie i don't need to rehearse i know sports i'm well spoken it's not like you got lavish homes on the mac <laughs> help Jeff with the rummage sale. What about the camera? Mom, Jeff hasn't even asked me out on a date yet. We, we might scare him if we start taking videos of him. Tiffany, you are going to operate this camera the way you said. Now, come on. Where's Austin? He wanted to look the part. He's going through my closet. Austin, get out here. We're ready. Come on, get in place. Here. Whoa! <laughs> Thanks, Marion. Here's your mic. I usually use a big wooden spoon. Well, if you had unloaded the dishwasher, you could have had one. Well, come on, let's get to work. Everybody, let's go. Action. Cut. <laughs> you just don't look like you're having a very good time. Give me less Tupac, more Benverine. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, Marion Hill here, talking with Austin Warren, forward for the Mighty Ducks. Hi, Mom. Austin, when you were upstairs going through the closet, you didn't happen to look through that stack of magazines, did you? <laughs> what magazine? Hey, you, never mind you, put a lock on that closet. Mom, I've got to get down to the rummage sale. Jeff is meeting me after track. He's wearing shorts. Girl, you better get behind the camera and stay. Come on, let's go. And action. That's the start of the third period. All well, my turkey lasagna's ready. Oh, Marion. Marion, talk about luck. This is Spud Webb, guard for the Sacramento Kings. Yeah, we know each other. How you doing, Marion? Glad I ran into you. For the longest time, I always wanted to tell you how sorry I am about the endorsement thing. Oh, the sports drink commercial? Hey, forget about it, man. I know I have. Spud's here to do some public service announcements, but he said he'd be happy to let you use him for your audition interview. Isn't that nice? He's going to help you with your interview. Thank you, Spuddy. <laughs> well, it was my idea. Uh, if you ever want to change representation or anything. <laughs> 
Okay. All right, everybody. All right, man. Let's pretend that the Kings have won and you're doing the post-game interview, all right? No problem. Okay. Can't turn on TV without seeing that commercial, man. Yeah. Well, we just shot a whole new series of them, too. No kidding. That's great. Glad you got it, man. And five. Of course, why wouldn't you get it? You sucked up to those guys at the ad agency like a Black & Decker shop vac. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hi, Marion Hill here, talking to Sacramento Kings guard Spud Webb. Spud, you and the guys were trailing at the half, but you seemed to get it together going into the last quarter. Yeah, Marion. We went out there and made them play our kind of game. Hmm. Let's take a look at some of the action from the first quarter. What do you mean by that sucking up crack? <laughs> Baby, you think you really would have got that endorsement deal if you hadn't sent all the guys at the ad agency fruit baskets and isotoner gloves? Hey, my agent did it. And it wasn't fruit baskets. It was assortment of muffins. Marion's really good at this. He's a natural. And he seems to have a real rapport with Spud. Mm. Mm. How could you do me like that? Huh? I introduced you to Janet Jackson. And your tie's hurting my feelings. This is business. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna get on a Wheaties box. Yeah, they'll probably use life-size pictures of you, too. <laughs> so, Spud, what would you say was the play that changed the game around? Hey, me and you, one-on-one, -on -one, anytime. I see you at a loss for words. I'd say it was that turnover in the third quarter. Let's take a look at that. Man, with that kind of defense, Stevie Wonder could drive through the lane. As far as I'm concerned, we can sign a contract right now. Lots of luck with the little sports thing you got going here. You can use it. <laughs> At least I had the integrity not to do a Bob Hope special. <laughs> well, thank you, Spud. It's always a pleasure to talk to a man of your stature. What the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> this is Marion Hill calling him. Like I see him. <laughs> hey, nothing against Bob Hope, but you wouldn't catch me slam dunking in a dress. Hey, it worked for Larry Johnson. Marion, you were wonderful. Spud seemed a little tense, though. I know, I tried to put him at ease, but I guess some people just don't belong in front of the camera. <laughs> well, the job is yours, Marion. You can start with this Sunday's game. Well, if you're willing to give me an out when I'm called back by the Raiders. Well, we can do it. Okay, then. <laughs> uh, just that when we do it for real, uh, lose the hat. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, Miss Comstock, uh, he's kidding. Uh, uh, no, of course he's kidding. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> Jackie? Uh, Marion? I don't work without my hat. If the hat stays on, the deal's off, and you're fired. Jackie, if the hat stays on, the deal's off, and you're fired. Marion, if the hat stays on, the deal's off, and I'm fired. I don't take off my hat. <laughs> He's just shy. His head's a little ashy. <laughs> Please talk about it for a minute. Jackie, it's not often I say this to a woman, but I'm not taking it off. <laughs> Marion, I put myself and the firm on the line for this. How could you do this to me? I'll buy you a closet full of hats. Take off the stupid hat! <laughs> this isn't just a hat to me, it's a good luck charm. My dad gave me this when I was playing in high school. It's the last thing he ever gave me. Oh, did he die? No, he's just cheap. <laughs> anyway, the first time I wore it, I scored three touchdowns. I wore it under my helmet in every game since. Well, if it's so lucky, what about the game where you injured yourself? That's the one game I played without my hat. My girlfriend at the time insisted on wearing it. I got hurt and she married the guy who sang the national anthem. <laughs> Mary, you're not going to be playing this time. It doesn't matter. It's still connected with sports, and I don't go near sports without it. Marion, can't you see you using this hat as a crutch? What do you know about crutches? I was on crutches for four months, and you know why? Because I wasn't wearing my damn hat. Relax, Jackie. I didn't become the top producing attorney at the firm without knowing how to handle tough negotiations. Please. I have a condo. I, I just redid my bathroom. What's the big deal? Why won't Sega let me wear the hat? He says it hides your face. What if I turn it backwards? I might be able to sell that. 
If he agrees, then I'll do it. I'll go talk to Seeger. 